Hey folks, it's Flash and Rahul here. Today's topic of the video is reasons why video games are good for you. Check out this for an example. You are in an English class. When you were talking with your friend, the teacher noticed and made you and your friend to read the first paragraph of the chapter. But unfortunately, your friend is not a gamer, but you are. You will read the words with an ease, like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, but when the dog noticed, it barked. But your friend wouldn't say the words like that. He might say, the quick, quick, quick brown, brown fox jumps ev, 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 one eternity later. But, 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 I did it. This disorder is called dyslexia disorder. It involves difficulty in learning to read or interpret words, letters, and other symbols. But playing games, this disorder registers about 58%. You would be able to see and understand even tiny miserable handwriting perfectly. A lot of games requires quick reflexes. The quicker you are, the nearer you get to the success. And if a level is too hard for you or you couldn't beat that level, a true gamer never gives up. Just imagine the situation in a trigonometry class. Try harder and harder, look up for the patterns, analytics and you will succeed in that class. Life is just like a video game. The harder you try, the luckier you get. The obstacles in the game are like life issues in the real life. The enemies in the game are like anger, ego, frustration in your real life. The winning trophy in the game is like getting what you want in real life. German researchers conducted a study which was released in 2013. They asked 23 adults with a median age of 25 to play Super Mario 64 for 30 minutes a day over a period of 2 months. The separate control group did not play video games at all. Examining the brains of two groups using an MRI machine, they found that gaming group had a rise in gray matter in the right hippocampus, right prefrontal cortex and the cerebellum areas of the brain responsible for the spatial navigation, memory formation, strategic planning and fine motor skills in the hands. While previous studies have shown differences in brain structure of video gamers, the present study can demonstrate the direct casual link between video gaming and volumetric brain increase. The study leader Simone Kuhn said, This proves that specific brain regions can be trained by means of video games. There are very few gamer kids who grew up without ever hearing their parents say, You're going to go blind watching that screen all day. For a while, it did seem like they had a point since we tend to blink much less frequently while playing a game. This can cause serious problems like eye strain and dry eye syndrome. Another team of researchers from the University of Rochester saw it tend to prove if games really wasn't a vision. The 2009 study involved having a group of experienced first-person shooter gamers play Call of Duty and Unreal Tournament 2004, while more casual gamers played slow games like The Sims 2. After testing, those who played the first-person shooters showed signs of having better vision than the others. Gaming also helps in decision making, like in money spending games where you have to buy stuff from the amount you have unless you're a hacker. I respect all the hackers but they cheat their way to the top. I mean, that's what hackers do, right? Active games like Wii Sports and Wii Fit are to this day found in hospitals and retirement homes. Researchers at the University of Oklahoma Health Science Center recently performed tests to see how much better active games are for kids compared to activities like watching TV and browsing the internet. Tests involve measuring the heart rate, self-reported exertion and energy expenditure of kids aged to 10 to 13 while they perform three specific activities. Playing active video games, watching television, walking on a treadmill. The team discovered that playing motion control games was just as beneficial as walking on a treadmill at a speed of 3.5 miles per hour. Both exercises had the kids burning the same amount of calories which was nearly three times more than the children just watching Netflix. And if your mom says that games are just a time waste, then show this video for her. But too much of anything is not good for anything, okay? Peace out.